never too old for nannikins. Tony Martin is a small adult male who recently graduated from high school. His grades were only average making college unlikely. Violet Martin is his mother who is a single parent after the divorce. The family lives in SD. Augustine, Florida in the year 1995. Tony is 18 years old and Violet is 38. Mother has been letting Tony get away with a lot for years. She knows life has been difficult after the divorce. Tony is just 5 foot tall barely weighing 90 pounds. Violet, his mother is 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs 150 pounds. She is attractive and recently started dating. This is the first time dating since the divorce. Tony was left home alone Friday night while mother went out on a date with her boyfriend Hank. Tony blasted Metallica on his stereo and upset a few neighbors. The Martins live in a two-bedroom condo with neighbors on both sides and above. Today is Saturday, mother got the news Tony was a disturbance last night when she was out. Mom found several empty beer cans in the trash. Tony is 18 and the legal age to drink is 21 in Florida. Violet is not happy to hear the complaints. I thought I could trust you to behave when I was on my date, Violet lectured Tony, our neighbors said you were intoxicated and playing very loud music. Don't believe everything you hear, Tony replied, I think the neighbors should mind their own business. I have another date with Hank tonight and you are going to the babysitter's house, Violet informed Tony. What babysitter? Tony asked, I don't have a babysitter. You have one now and her name is Linda Larson, Violet said. One of the neighbors who complained about Tony recommended Linda Larson as a strict no-nonsense babysitter. Linda lives in a house across town and prefers her charges are brought to her. Linda is six foot tall weighing 180 pounds and loves to work out. She is 21 and not much older than Tony. I can't believe you found me a babysitter at my age, Tony said not happy about this. I don't need a babysitter. Violet left out any details about Linda other than she is his new babysitter. Tony feels after one day with him Linda won't want him back. Tony is a modern-day hippie with long hair. He smoked pot in the house last night while drinking and listening to music. Hank is taking me to Disney World and picking me up in an hour, Violet said, I am taking you to Linda's house now. What? You must be kidding me mother, Tony objected. After last night you cannot be trusted home alone, Violet said. Get your butt out the door and into the car. Tony is pissed off about this, he did not take his morning shower yet. Tony planned on hanging out at the video store in the mall. That is a good way to spend a Saturday having fun. Tony has on long brown pants with a blue t-shirt as mom escorts him out to the car. He doesn't know it yet but Linda is keeping him overnight. Disney takes a long time to see and Violet wants to stay for the 10pm fireworks display over Cinderella's castle. No overnight bag is packed since Linda said none is needed. In just 15 minutes mother pulls up to a rather large home. She brings Tony and knocks at the front door. Linda was filled in on Tony's bad behavior before Anne is ready for the boy. Hello you must be Violet, Linda said, with your little boy. I am not a little boy bitch, Tony said, I am 18 years old. How dare you talk to me this way, Linda said dragging little Tony inside her house. You are a brat like mommy told me. I will be back around this time tomorrow, Violet said, feel free to discipline Tony any way you wish. Suddenly mother leaves in the car leaving Tony in the hands of his strict babysitter. Linda believes Tony is just a boy even if she is only three years older. She has ways to discipline bratty children. Tony is told to have a seat in the living room. I have no overnight bag, Tony said, mother never said I was spending the night. No need to worry baby, Linda said, I have what is needed. Linda with her long black hair stands over Tony like a giant. She has on red shorts with a yellow t-shirt and is a pretty lady. Tony can't help but notice her rather large assets. Little boys don't need to notice my assets, Linda said. 
I am not a little boy. Tony replied, stop calling me that. Linda has a seat on the couch right next to little Tony. She grabs both of his arms and pulls him over her knees. Tony's pants are pulled down and so are his briefs. Linda starts spanking Tony's bare bottom and he is held firmly in place. Stop this immediately, Tony said in shock by what happened. Smack, 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 Linda is soundly spanking Tony on his bottom. Smack, 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 smack Linda continues the spanking. You are a spoiled brat and deserve a good hard spanking, Linda said completely in control. Smack, 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 smack Linda is reddening Tony's entire bottom with her spanking. Smack, 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 smack the wise-mouthed boy is getting spanked like a naughty toddler. You will be given a bath since you need one, Linda said, after I finish your spanking. Smack, 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 smack poor Tony can't escape the grip of this large strict babysitter. Smack, 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 smack he is kicking and crying like a toddler. Smack, 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 smack a few more spanks are needed. Are you going to obey me or should I continue your spanking? Linda asked before letting Tony up. Yes nanny, I will obey you. Tony exclaimed humiliated by being spanked like a toddler. Tony is made to stand in the corner with his pants and briefs down by his ankles. Linda goes to the hall bathroom and fills the tub with a perfumed bubble bath. She gets out her neh hair remover and puts it on the counter. Get yourself undressed completely and put your clothes on the coffee table, Linda said, you won't need them anymore. Tony was spanked into submission and obeys Linda. He is taken to the bathroom and made to stand on a bath mat by the tub. His chest is bare of hair but his legs have some. Tony's crotch has only a bit of hair and some on his bottom. Stand still while I rub this cream where it is needed, Linda said starting with Tony's legs. What is this cream you are putting all over me? Tony asked. Shut up and do as you are told, Linda said covering Tony's private parts and bottom with neh. Tony has not started shaving his face yet but Linda covers his whisker area with neh. This will get rid of any growth that is starting. Tony has no other body hair and will soon have none anywhere. He gets concerned when the neh begins to sting a bit. Linda makes sure five minutes passes out of the bathtub. Okay baby gets in the tub and soak for a while, Linda said. While Tony soaks in the warm bubble bath Linda takes his old clothes and puts them in a bag. She goes to Tony's room where there is a crib and diaper table. Linda often watches special needs children who are older. They are kept diapered and sleep in the crib. Tony is older than most of them but not bigger. Stand up so I can wash you from head to toe, Linda said back in the bathroom. Linda takes a bar of Dial Gold soap and makes the washcloth very soapy. She starts by washing Tony's feet one at a time. Linda washes both legs with the soapy washcloth. He is soaked up and scrubbed all the way up to his navel. A shower sprayer is attached to the faucet. Tony is rinsed with warm water from his navel down. Tony's body hair washes away completely. What the heck is going on here? Tony asked, my body hair washed away, my leg and crotch hair is gone. Linda ignores Tony and re-soaps the washcloth. She washes Tony's entire body other than his hair. His face is washed and rinsed, his entire body is rinsed. Linda has baby shampoo and has Tony sit in the bubble bath again. She wets his hair with clean water and shampoos it. The hair is rinsed well and a conditioner is used. That is rinsed away afterward. Look how cute you are without any body hair, Linda said admiring her work, you are my toddler girl sweetie. What do you mean toddler girl? Tony said feeling insulted. I mean that I am going to treat you as if you are a toddler girl, Linda said, that includes getting you in a diaper. Oh no you don't, Tony said, you can't diaper an 18-year-old adult like me. Do you want another spanking? Linda asked, 
you are going on the diaper table after I dry you off. Tony is not happy about this babysitter he was going to make not want him anymore. Instead Linda is making Tony not want her anymore. Tony is dried with a large towel and his long brown hair is combed out while still wet. Tony is picked up like a toddler. He is facing Linda with legs wrapped around her waist. Tony is taken to the nursery and laid on the big diaper table. Linda pulls out an attends adult small diaper and lays it next to Tony. She has diaper rash cream and starts by applying it to Tony's red bottom. She rubs the stuff on his crotch and private parts. Tony is distressed but not excited to have this done. He is feeling humiliated and embarrassed. Naughty boys who are a brat need a nappy at any age, Linda said slipping the diaper under Tony's bottom by lifting his legs. Tony tried to get up but there is no way with the big babysitter holding him down. Linda lifts his legs and smacks his bottom a few times on each cheek. This makes Tony submissive again. Linda pulls the thick diaper up between Tony's legs and makes the waist even front and back. She fastens the bottom tapes first, then the middle tapes, and finally the top tapes. Tony is secured snugly in his six tapes nappy. Linda slips a real cute blue lady's shirt on Tony. That is all he will be wearing so the nappy is on display. Linda blow dries Tony's long brown hair, she ties a cute pink ribbon in his hair making a bow at the top. Cute babyish socks are put on Tony's feet. You look like a big toddler girl and no one would think you are a male, Linda said showing Tony himself in a mirror. A pink blanket is put on the floor of the living room. Tony can see a playpen on the back screen porch. He is stunned to be treated this way, all with force from his babysitter. Tony is given a cute stuffy toy to play with on his blanket. No more using the toilet since I have you in a diaper, Linda said, taking your diaper off means another spanking. A pacifier is in Tony's mouth as he stares with fear at Linda. He relaxes on his belly next to a large blue stuffed elephant. Tony wants to be back home where he feels he belongs. Good little girl go ahead and take a nap, Linda said smiling. Two hours later Linda finds Tony sitting on his blanket playing with his stuffy toy. He is adorable as a toddler girl and Linda makes sure to tell Tony this. Linda feels a new name is needed other than Tony. She tells Tony he will answer to Tina when she babysits him. Tony feels strange as a diapered toddler girl. Dinner is served in the kitchen with Tina in a high chair with a bib tied around her neck. Linda feeds the sissy baby jarred baby food he does not like. Two large jars of creamed peas are spoon-fed followed by two large jars of stewed prunes. Some fibre is needed to help the toddle girl poop later. I will fix you a baby bottle of warm formula to drink, Linda said going to the kitchen. She heats up some formula next. In the high chair, Tina is forced to drink a full baby bottle of warm formula. The supper ends with some chocolate pudding. Linda has to eat and has her supper with Tina in her high chair. To her surprise, Tina has to pee and must wet her diaper. I know you just peed your diaper, Linda said, I will change you on your blanket. Tina is removed from her high chair and taken to the living room. Her diaper is removed, Tina is cleaned with baby wipes, and she is treated with diaper rash cream and baby powder. A clean diaper is slipped in place and taped on snugly. Tina is in the diaper position afterward in a fresh clean nappy. Linda watches soap operas on TV while looking after Tina. A couple of hours later Tina rolls over on her right side and messes her nappy. The stewed prunes did the job. Tina is red-faced with embarrassment to already have wet a diaper. She just pooped a diaper and needs changing again. That red chair is where I will sit if you need another spanking, Linda said, I will change your diaper when my show ends. An hour or so later Tina is diaper changed again on her blanket. A poopy diaper is placed in a Ziploc bag and disposed of. A clean diaper is taped on Tina by his large babysitter. Tina hates that her babysitter is just three years older than she is. 
you need some exercise before it gets dark outside, Linda said pushing Tina out the front door in just a diaper and t-shirt. Tina is stunned but decides not to run away and get picked up by the police dressed this way. Linda will surely call the police if Tina runs away. That would be very embarrassing to be picked up as a toddler girl and possibly make the nightly news. Open the door and let me back inside the house, Tina said. You are not the first child to be seen outside my house in a diaper, Linda said opening the door. She takes Tina by the hand and walks her down to the corner and back for exercise. A few neighbours are outside, they assume Tina is another special needs child. Tina is very cute and several people wave hello from a distance. Hello Linda who is the cute little girl in a diaper? Pamela asked coming up to them. Pamela is 18 like Tina and lives next door. She asks if Tina is 12 years old embarrassing Tony as Tina. Tony does not say a word knowing he has a male voice. Linda introduces Tina as being 13 but small for her age. Pamela gives Tina a pat on her diapered bottom and goes back inside. It is dark enough for streetlights to be on when Linda takes Tina back inside. Tina is bottle-fed a baby bottle of cold water while being rocked on Linda's lap in a rocking chair. Tina has no choice but to drink it up and she is thirsty. You will be sleeping in the crib tonight with the sides raised, Linda told Tina, you can stay up another hour until 9pm. I don't go to bed until midnight at home, Tony as Tina said. You go to bed when I say you go to bed, Linda replied, I better change you since you are wet. Tina is taken to the diaper table and changed into a clean diaper. Linda put a cute yellow nylon nightgown on Tina to sleep in. Tina watches television until 9pm and is carried to the nursery. Linda places Tina in the crib and raises the side. I will be right back with a baby bottle of warm formula to help you sleep, Linda said dimming the nursery lights. Conclusion, that night Tony as Tina tossed and turned in her crib until she fell asleep. Around 3 a.m. Tina wet her diaper and then fell back to sleep. The fun last night listening to Metallica and having a few beers seems like a mistake now. Linda was about to go to bed around 11 p.m. when the phone rang unexpectedly. Linda wonders who this can be calling so late on a Saturday night. It is Violet calling to ask Linda a question. Ring, ring, hello this is Linda, she said, who am I speaking to and how can I help you? This is Violet calling from Disney World, Violet replied, Hank just asked me to marry him after the fireworks display. Could you possibly watch Tony for a week? Sure that is what a babysitter is for, Linda said politely, are you going out of town or something? Yes we are going to fly to Las Vegas and get married, Violet said feeling delighted by her proposal. We want to stay a full week for our honeymoon. That is super cool to hear, Linda said, I will gladly watch Tony for a week. Congratulations to both of you. Linda tells Violet about how she has dominated Tony for being a naughty boy and brat. She further explains the use of diaper discipline and petticoat punishment she used on Tony. His name is not Tony anymore it is Tina, Linda explained, I gave Tony a makeover and feminized him as a toddler girl. Are you serious? Violet asked, is he back in diapers too? Yes nanny, I have Tony back in diapers and toddler girl's clothes, Linda said, he is asleep in the nursery in a crib. Great, we will keep Tina a diapered toddler girl, Violet said.